So here we have the Ford Galaxy on a 62 plate. I'm going to start off by showing you around the outside of the car and then we'll hop in and run through some controls on the inside. But from the outside, you can see it's a five door car with alloy wheels. Let's start off inside the boots and then work our way around the rest of the car from there. As we approach the back of the car, you can see we have reversing sensors, plenty of boot space as well, even with all seven seats in place. Okay, so we're just going to work our way back around to the front of the car and then we'll hop in and run through some controls on the inside. But now that we've done a full circle of it, you can see it's in excellent condition the whole way around. Just briefly before we climb in, I think it's well worth seeing the interior from this exterior point of view. There's plenty to run through on the dashboard, so let's hop in and we'll do that now. Okay, now that we're inside the car, we're going to start with the dials. On the left-hand side, we have the rev counter and we have the speedometer on the right-hand side. In the middle at the bottom, you can see the total miles of this car. They are 63,217. Above that, we have the uh, coolant temperature gauge and fuel gauge for the car. If we back out to the steering wheel, we have stereo controls. Uh, these controls here will reset and change the trip computer information displayed in that central section. Over in the middle, we then have the stereo. Above that, we have our heated front screen, our heated rear screen, our hazard warning lights, and we can turn the parking sensors on and off from here. Uh, I say the stereo, so we have the CD player. You can turn the stereo on and adjust the volume with this dial just here. Uh, in terms of radio itself, uh, you can go through the various different preset stations uh, and wavelengths from up here. If you listen to your own music, you can do that via the CD player. Working our way down, we then have dual zone climate control. So you can adjust the passenger temperature, the driver temperature. You can increase and decrease the fan speed from here and determine where you'd like the air to be distributed. Once you're happy with those settings, you can turn your air conditioning off and on. So it's off back on again or hit auto the car will now maintain the temperatures you've asked for by taking full control of the fan speed for you and direction of the air as well you can hear it doing that in the background any manual adjustment will take auto uh, off in that section and then allow you to adjust the fan speed as well uh, to be back in a manual mode within here we have a 12 volt charging socket and some storage and then a six speed manual gearbox all that leaves me to say is thank you for taking the time to watch this video. If you'd like to come and see the car in person and have a test drive, please feel free to give us a call here at Glenbournes. We'd love to hear from you soon.